Hi, I'm Andrew Spears, a recent graduate of the Master of Landscape Architecture program here at UVA. And I'm Tim Victorio, co-founder with Andrew here, and I'm currently a grad student within the Masters of Architecture program. UVA Sawmilling got started about two years ago as an independent study I undertook after I learned that most of the trees on grounds get turned, chipped into mulch. The legacy that we can get out of a lot of the trees that come down on grounds, um, be it for a multitude of reasons, whether it's construction um, or just old age or even what we've been dealing with in, in Virginia and a lot of the country is the emerald ash borer, which is really taking down a lot of trees. It's really nice to be able to have that opportunity to preserve the trees and tell their story and their legacy. You know, trees such as this large red oak behind me, it's probably a hundred years old and be able to show other people what it's been through while it was here at the university and have other people be able to interact with that and remember that over time. These two tables were made from a poplar tree. It's 125 years old and grew on the north side of Alderman Library for its, for its entire life. We've had the opportunity with help from many folks, some great funding from the Jefferson Trust, to bring that tree down in long sections and slab it with the intent of making tabletops. Fortunately, the outdoor classroom here at the School of Architecture was looking for some new tables and we were able to work together with local businesses, some local craftsmen, and get the wood milled and dried. So behind me I have here a solar kiln which was funded by the gift grant at University of Virginia. Um, we were able to use that to mill and uh, build this kiln and we also have gotten some funding from the Virginia Department of Forestry where we um, have ready to build a second kiln um, and that lumber is all milled here and stacked on site um, which we milled some pine logs in order to build that one. Another really interesting aspect of putting these tables together is the fact that we are able to do that with a really small carbon footprint. Basically the carbon taken up by the tree is able to remain there and we didn't add too much to it in trying to process it into a table. The sawmill, the vacuum kiln, the table base creation, all of that was able to happen pretty much here in Charlottesville. Prices have of course gone up really high since the pandemic and it's really difficult for students to get quality lumber and quality pieces of wood to work on research and projects so mm -hmm. um, this has been a great way to kind of break that, that uh, barrier in terms of students not getting materials that they could otherwise be using um, which has been exciting to really pass on to students and see what they've been building. So this is one example of something that we would love to continue doing here at UVA is to continue to make use of old trees, particularly neat specimens or species of tree that grow here on grounds and preserve them, tell their story, allow students and others to interact with them and kind of see their time here at the university or time throughout the life of the university written in these trees, in these tables desks, benches, whatever it may be. 